Stay downstairs now. <laughs> I'm four <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're just on a hack now and Sam's Sam claimed like three weeks ago that he was going teetotal and it lasted three days. Is that right? Just be careful how you word it because people start thinking I've got an issue. <laughs> he doesn't have an issue, he just loves a drink. You do love a drink. I like seeing my friends. He's a socializer. No, oh no, he's not an alcoholic. Um, anyway, so that went down the drain pretty, pretty fast. He's now on our hack bike ride, decided that he's going to do 75 hard, which those who don't know, it's 75 days of like, no drink. Are you doing the full actual 75 no, days? We just agreed on 35. Yeah, but are you doing the actual things? You have, to, you have to do a, a workout outdoor and indoor every day. Yeah. Uh, read, read 10 pages of a book. And read 10 pages. Are you going to read a book? Every day, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. So that's what he's just said. And then P said, if you do 35 days hard and you complete it, she will swim in a dike. No wetsuit. <laughs> And if he doesn't, then Sam has to swim in the dike. No wetsuit. So we'll see. And it's literally the, the week after AGM, which it ends. So it's a get your trunks ready. Get your trunks ready. It's a big, it's a big bet. This there's a car coming. I'm getting my hair done today. Finally. When I'm in the light, don't even look that brunette, but let me tell you, I don't look blonde anymore. And it's been like two weeks without being blonde and I'm missing it. So I'm going to the hairdressers and I can't wait. We're going for <laughs> the messy volume look because this is all the hair I have. So the more volume, the better. But she's back blonde. Finally. And I'm going to go and ruin it all now because we're going on a bike ride. <laughs> we're going to, we're taking some friends with us. We're going for a bike ride. And we're biking up to a local pub. I'm sorry if you can't hear me that well. The TV's on and I don't know where the remote is. So yeah. Um... Yeah, we're going to a nice pub, which we're thinking about an hour's bike ride away. Now, I'll be absolutely fine because I've got my electric bike. <laughs> don't, can't, I don't want to do too much because of the um, money. And it is, a lot of it is uphill. So I'm feeling sorry for Jack, Moll and Sam, but they'll be fine. They're fit people. They'll be fine. 
So yeah, that's what we're doing now. Um, I'm just quickly tidying the house up before we go. Sam's getting his hair cut and then we're off. So I'm on the electric bike, which I'm definitely cheating, but it's fine. But here they all are. Made it. It's car coming out. Mal's being attacked by the puddles. So Rebs are really soft, they were long socks. That was his first product. Jealous. Get the I will get the scoreboard and that's the best bit. Here she is. You're on 10, love. Six. I'm on 15. Yes. Well done. Oh, he's coming up. christening this morning with Ashley because Sam couldn't make it so yeah. me and Ashley went this morning to a christening and then we're now actually going to a pub for some it's only quarter to five I think it's because it's so light it throws you off doesn't it but we're going out for tea basically with Sam's parents and I'm wearing a dress which Sam got me for Christmas which was a while ago but I need to wear it now because otherwise it's going to get too the weather's going to be too good to wear this sort of dress so first time she's worn it first time we've worn it we're going to send the bugger back no you weren't and I actually love it it's really nice it's one of the um, Holland and Cooper ones it's a knitted one Ooh, probably a bit too much to show very very nice uh, yeah I really like it what what do you show them I know I, I went a bit for, I'll crop that bit out though I went a bit too far down <laughs> she's got legs out and my hair's blonde again and it's dead short but we're going with it and it looks way better than it did. Sam likes it, so that's that's a good thing. And I've got earrings in. I, look, I feel like a proper girl this weekend. I'm wearing earrings. I never wear earrings. Um, so yeah, that's where we're up to. I've not really vlogged a lot this week, but I might carry this on into next week and then post it next week. But who knows? Anyway, yeah, I hope you've all had a good weekend, and I'll see. I might film a bit when we get to the fleece, like the food and that. Yeah, well, we got a, a marquee quote. We did. So the marquee man came round um, for the wedding. So we're wanting to get married at home. So we spoke to dad about where we can put it and where we're putting it and what have you. is isn't actually on the farm with the animals. It's at the other farm at Whitehall, which if you watch the videos, you'll have seen us many a times going down to Whitehall. Um, so we had the man come round to quote that, which- So yeah, he's given us a quote today. If we are gonna put a GoFundMe link <laughs> in the bottom of this video because we actually should whew, so expensive to get married she's gonna be a spenny one it's crazy so yeah maybe i will make a go for tell you what have a guess in the comments how much you think a marquee is for 180 day guess yeah have a guess to be fair my guess wasn't far off all right don't give anything away but let's have a guess no i won't but yeah if you think you know write it down in the comments it made my eyes water put it that way it will do, yeah. It's not, it does seem a bit ridiculous, but if you want to get married, it's the things you've got to do. Anyway, right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. I am making Ashley a birthday cake. Three tiered. And these are my decorations. <laughs> Wish me luck. The cake bit is. I'm finding that pretty easy. The cake is the you. I've done a few tests from this week. It's being quiet because Sam's watching Telly Next Door. And yeah, so now the decorating part, which is hard. That one I got too eager because I needed the tin. I took it out and it cracked, so I ate a bit to even it off. <laughs> and now, I'm, again, I'm too impatient. I want to go to bed because I'm really tired and it's late. So I'm. Um, Letting that one cool and then I'm going to, this is going to be my top one because it's my best one. So I'm going to decorate this now and then lift it on. Hopefully. But yeah, let's see how we get on. All the decorations. Oh, and 29. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty chuffed with my cake. This side has slipped a little bit, but it's okay. We're looking on the positive side. The cake actually tastes amazing as well. I was doing a three tier. This tier, where's my finger? This tier, no good. 
that was a spare because I had too much cake mixture. So we've just gone for a, a simple two tier. Oh, hell, it is fairly sloping, isn't it? It's fine. It's it's the thought that count, and I've got two tone buttons because I've run out of buttons. But yeah, I think she'll be chuffed with that. Birthday girl. <laughs> She's chuffed with a cake. Vibes that we're going for. Right, let's um, show the vlog what everyone's done. That's mine. This is India's. Fucking artist over here. <laughs> Does look good. I think they all look really good. We've gone for a, a cake plate. Cute. Neve. Nice. And your mum's just left, but she did a little. What do you call them? A little trinket. Yeah, a little trinket. Trinket. Yeah. trinket. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. They are cute. And Ivy's just Ivy's done this. This is Ivy's beautiful artwork. <laughs> She's so You're proud. So funny. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sloping a little bit. What, what's this one? Maltesers, crunchy dairy milk crunchy bits. Cool. Mini Krispy eggs. Crispy cream. What am I <laughs> Cream Min eggs. Cream eggs. Buttons. And buttons. <laughs> so much chocolate. Good morning, everyone. Get us some milk. So I've actually got Michael some new feed, which is the Bailey's Meadow Cobs they're called, which you soak. Honestly, they smell so good. It's just like a, it's like full of fiber. It's like a um, not a replacement for forage, but I'm just trying to fill his belly because the fields are so wet. But by now, he would normally have um, put on a load of weight. <laughs> he loses a lot of weight in the winter, but he's just not done that due to the weather and the grass and all that. So I thought if I give him some. Meadow cobs, which is this, which I soak daily and he gets it morning and night. Um, hopefully we can get his weight coming back up because he should have put on quite a bit of weight back now and he hasn't done. So that's Michael's feed. And then Reno gets the linseed mash, which she hasn't soaked any. So she'll probably feed her that after. So I'll just give her a scoop of this. And they're both on the Ease and XL, which we both love. It's the best feed I've ever used anyway for Michael for something that struggles to gain weight. So anyway, I've actually not got a stirrer. I could do with a stirrer to be honest. Oh, actually, tell a lie. I've got a wooden spoon. I forgot I even had this. 
from back in the day when I used to make all these feeds. Probably need to wash, I'm going to put it in my wash bucket. Right. Perfect. I'm coming. <laughs> I need to empty my barra. And he needs some shavings on desperately, don't you? If that's, I'll let you out. You can eat yours there. Reno. You alright, missus? Good girly. Right. You can come out and eat yours and skip you out. Oh, it's so dramatic in the morning. Good boy. Yummy. Took him a few days to actually get into it. He was like leaving them, which was annoying. Because I'm not spending all this money if you're not going to eat it. Anyway. He loves it now, don't you? Uh, Wags, since when do you like pony food? Right. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. Such a weirdo. I'm doing a big muck out. I say a big muck out. Well, it is a big muck out. I'm just taking out all his wet. He's been in this week again because of the weather. And we're in need of some shavings, which we just need to nip up top and get some, don't we, Wags? Because we've got a pallet up there waiting. Yeah. You're so cute. But it looks like it's going to be a nice day today. So I'm hoping Sam will um, come and meet me after milking and we'll go for a ride, won't we? Yeah, so it is actually milking time, hence why I'm in my pinny. And I look like I do. It's first thing in the morning. Um, it's a Sunday and on a Sunday I have Leighton and David in so I've literally just left them in there for like 15 20 minutes while I come and do all my other stuff. Also my hair isn't greasy, it's oil. It's oil. I've got a hair mask in for my for my hair growth journey. <laughs> so yeah, just need to finish off in here, nearly finished. Put some shavings down and then I'm gonna head back in the parlour, but and then I'll um you come riding with us after anyway when Sam gets here. Right. I just need to go and get some bales now. Right. Back in the day, I used to always put a fresh bale of shavings on the base and leave the bankings, like the dirty stuff. Which, um, and then a few years ago, I was like, why do I do that? Because then it's always led on clean and I'm like wasting the clean. So I switched it around. But what do you guys do? Do you put it on the base or do you put your fresh bales on the bankings? Because I used to be a base person all the time, but now I'm defo bankings. So, yeah. I'd just like to know what other people do. Is he pinching your hay again? Don't worry, I'll put him away. I'll put him away soon. Good girly. Vlog. I've just come to check on Alex's sheep, right? So she's got these sheep a bit ago. If you watched previous vlogs, you'll have heard. And we thought they were going to land like months ago. <laughs> oh my god. They're the rum looking, the rummest looking sheep you've ever seen. Let me turn you around. Can't really walk much closer because they're really scared. I, I don't think this one is in lamb. The other two are, but they're rum looking sheep though, aren't they? She thought badger, which is the far one. There's my finger. There, that one. She thought badger was going to lamb pretty soon, but she hasn't done. Oh, a bit of a stretch and then maple. So it's that girls. to lamb, yeah. We're getting friendlier. Yeah? Never seen them this close up. You waiting for Alex? Oh yeah, she's got a little bit of um goo hanging out. You can't be that far off, love. <laughs> they look so rough, don't they? <laughs> oh dear me. I've left the gate open at like all morning. 
Joe is a good lad and not noticed. <laughs> now that I'm here, he's noticed. Oh, hello. Good boy. <laughs> You're a good lad, aren't you? Right, I'm just going to unload the shaving. So if you could stand, that would be great. Stay there. Stay. And his bed's done. Please don't dig it out, Michael. Good boy. Ooh, yeah, shaving's bag. Red. <laughs> Good boy. Right, take these out. Got a bit of a rubbish pile going on here, which we need to take away. And then, we're done. Oh, we just needed a wee. Oh, I'm sorry. Good boy. Waggles! It was too late. I'd already shut the gate before you were here. Come here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never see your face. There we go. You're too big for the camera. Good boy. Right, I'll be back in a bit. Good boy, love you. Right, finished outside. Uh, had my breakfast. Washed all my buckets and stuff. Right, brand new. Um, I'm gonna soak this ready for later, and then I can't get hold of Sam, so we're just gonna go ride on our own. <laughs> You must still be asleep. Also, the crop situation. I put it on my story on Instagram the other day, and um, like three people were like, "Why are you wearing our Crocs?" Um, it's not out of choice. Dotty, which is Ben and Alex's little cocker, is a Croc thief. Like your little sunshine thief. And she pinches your Crocs. Basically, it's very annoying. But anyway, right, let's tack up and go for a ride. No hair bobble with me. I've only got a hair clip and now I've got no hair. I absolutely can use a platinum band to tie my hair up. Can't we, Ross? Ah. Oh, good boy, you're all right. <laughs> Bella, Ross, come here. Michael, it's fine. Which way should we go? Should we go this way? Oh, we're off. Uh, Butters? Not been in the field all week. Good lad. Calm down. Oh, actually, shall we go up the farm? Let's drive around the farm. I'm pretty sure there's a stubble field, a turnip field at the back, which we can ride down. <laughs> Have fun, Ross. Such a nice day. Today, I'm normally going to the beach, right? But I don't think I've told anyone to be honest. But the other week, be a couple of weeks ago now, me and Ashley were on the way to her yard to pick her horse up, Alice, and someone crashed into me, my car, and my trailer. So, like, he like slid from the front end of my car all the way down my car and into my trailer. Me and Ashley were fine. Um, so that's nothing to worry about but my car is like fully scratched and my trailer honestly the front end of my trailer was a right mess so i haven't actually got a trailer at the minute it's at barlow's waiting to be fixed well we're waiting on like the insurance and all that sort of stuff but it's waiting to be fixed um so yeah i've not been to the beach in ages and today's like the perfect day to go so i'm a little bit gutted about that um so we're making do and just riding around home because there is a few stubble fields at the back here which we can have a canter in and what have you. It's not quite the beach, but it's fine. So yeah, I don't think I've actually told you about my trailer mishap. Anyway, there you are. Oh, Bronx! Uh, no Bronx, thank you. 
as well. God, he fully fell over then. Did I get that on video? You absolute numb nut. You are somewhere else sometimes, you. Get a grip, come on. Hellfire. So I'm right this, Michael. Are you alright, love? <laughs> Good boy. You absolute sausage. Dear me. No, we're not doing that again. Yeah, so we were walking in the other field before and there's a, like a caravan park next door to it and there was some tarpaulin up. Honestly, you would think it was a gremlin or something. Woo he went mad. And he's not, I mean, he does spook, but he's, it's like silly spooks and he gets over it very, very fast. But he fully like had a paddy about it. And that's the first time I've nearly fallen off in a very long time. <sighs> anyway, we stayed on. And then yeah, it's just fallen to his knees. I'm hoping. I didn't hear him like thud, so I'm thinking he's fallen on the soil, but I'll check him over when we get him to the stables. But he seems fine. He's walking it off anyway. What an honour. Some Sunday ride this. <laughs> You're being such a weirdo today. Oh boy. Should we go see the cows? girls oh she is living her best life jealous of you are you saying hello or not you're not bothered are you good lad oh, hi you're not a milk cow michael Right. If you fail, you'll put weight on. Might blow your, your shoes off. Quite literally blow your feet off, but you'll gain weight. <laughs> Jokes. I'm not going to let my horse eat. Um, slightly. Right, come on. See you later, girls. Sam's just rang me as well, and he was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I snoozed my alarm. Because we, we'd planned to come riding this morning. He was going to come with me on the bike or something. And he's not woken up. But it's fine. I'm nearly done now anyway. But I will use it against him. <laughs> come on, legs. It's tough with that ball. Right, Michael, be careful down the hill because you've had a few accidents today. Ooh. Good boy. What a day. Finally feels like spring and I'm loving it. Russell's just come out the dike. Right, Russ, you're going to need a full bath before we go home. <laughs> you crack me up, you two. No injuries, just mud. <laughs> and your ego's been a bit hurt, hasn't it? You absolute softy. What you like? Good boy. Oh yeah, cutie. You're a cutie. Mwah. It's so sunny. I love it. I need to get some treats here. Right. Look at you. The gate's wide open. <laughs> so you are a good boy. Aren't you? Good lad. Mm 
All you need is paws washing. Good boy. And your belly. It all splashes up, doesn't it? Are you waiting for yours done, Wags? He's a good boy. Come on, then. Wags, come here. Bella, come here. Good girl. Bella, not so keen. <laughs> Bella, come here, good girlie. Good girl. Just get under your belly. And you just need your toes doing, really. Good girl. And your back ones. You're not as dirty as Russell because you didn't go in the puddles. Still got a dirty belly though. You monkey. Have you lost your ball? Where's your ball gone? Find it. That was not happy because Russell's got a ball. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, you popped it. Hmm.